I'm Carl Gustav Jung, and I do not have a script today. I have been doing therapy with this young woman. As you see, she has a Gorgon, Medusa. She has an insane side. I too have an insane side. When I was four, Winnicott diagnosed me as schizophrenic. My mother was mentally ill. She was in and out of mental institutions. It was a very difficult life for my mother and my father. My mother and father lost a boy, Paul, before I was born. I do not believe my mother ever recovered from the loss of Paul. When I came into the world, she was not ready to have me. She was not ready to be a mother, to have a child, and yet I needed her. I found my mother to be very independent, very, very independent. Linda also had this, and she keeps reading my autobiography over and over and over again. Finally, we figured out why yesterday. We talked and we talked and we talked, because Linda also thinks that she is insane, as I felt I was insane for so many years. My father, he was a pastor. I counted on my father. But my father was a very, very, very angry, angry, angry man. He was so angry. And he was quiet, he was introverted. So I was an only child for many, many years, and I played by myself. I had dreams, I had dreams that terrified me. I had dreams that my mother would come out of her room, and her head would fly off, and then there would be another head, and another head, and another head, and it was my life, it was very, I was very afraid, but there was no one to go to, so I had to go to myself. I had to go inside. My mother, when she went to mental institution, I was sent away to an aunt's, and that was a very difficult time. It was my older aunt, and she had this beautiful picture of a bishop going to go down the stairs. And I would actually look at the bishop, and I would stare at the bishop, and I would wait until the bishop would walk down the stairs. Every day, I would watch the bishop walk down the stairs. And my aunt, one day, she yelled at me, and she said, why are you taking so long? And he said, I said, I have to wait for the bishop to walk down the stairs. The bishop was my great-grandfather. and. My aunt said, well, that's ridiculous, that's, oh, don't do that again. And she was the one who encouraged me, so of course I felt crazy. My mother then came home from the institution and, went and, and my mother and father, it looked a little better. And suddenly, when I was nine years old, a baby came into the house. I didn't know anything about a baby. What's this about the baby? I had a sister. When I asked, I was told the stork brought the baby. I figured there was something I shouldn't know, that I had been doing something wrong. I wore this tie because there's white sheep and one black sheep. And that is me. And that is Linda. And we have that in common. Now, Linda was very, 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 very mad at me, very, very mad at me because I had affairs. I had affairs with Sabrina. Sabrina was crazy, but she was brilliant, brilliant. I 
came up with my anima and mus theories during her time when I was with her. I was married to Emma. I loved Emma. Emma was my father. Emma was stable. Emma was everything I needed, but Emma didn't allow me to expand and become my mother. My mother was very intuitive and I needed to express my mother's craziness. I had to, had to feel my mother's craziness in order to become whole. So I began to experience that with Sabrina. That was not enough. And then Tony Wolf came into my life. She also was a little crazy, but with her, I was able to expand. She came into my life at the time that Freud rejected me in my work. Freud and I were friends. However, I gave a paper on symbols of transformation and Freud fainted. <laughs> I had to pick him up and carry him out of the room. Can you imagine? Fainted. He never spoke to me again. Horrifying experience. I needed Tony Wolf. I did much imagination, active imagination with Tony. Tony and I I learned to open up. I learned about Eastern religions. I learned with her. Emma accepted Tony. Tony would come to dinner on Wednesday nights. Tony would come to lunch on Sunday. My children hated her. When I wrote my autobiography, Memorized Dreams and Reflections, I wrote a whole chapter on Tony. My children would not allow it to be published. Hopefully someday it will come out. I had to go into my insanity. I had to paint my insanity. I had to be my insanity. I had to live in that inner world. I had to understand completely the inner world from those years of active imagination. All of my later work was based on that time when I went inside and I was deeply psychotic, but at the same time I worked. I had clients. I raised my five children. I was born in 1875. I never told you that. I died in my 80s. Um, I lived a long life. I wrote a lot of books, books, many books. And I am proud of what I've done, but I think I had too much shadow. I had too much anger that was unresolved for my father. And, but I resolved my insanity. And Linda has helped her to resolve her insanity as well. To go in, to live it, to know it to be it. So thank you very much for listening. <laughs>